had found my mom trying to commit suicide. I fell into a very deep depression and was in my bed for countless days and then was so sick of where I was at that I needed to get help and I couldn't find anywhere that would take my insurance and so I, I literally just typed in my insurance plan into the internet and Sovereign was the first place to pop up and so I just thought what the heck, it can't hurt and made the phone call. When I first called and Bill answered, I was like, wow, he was so helpful. And it's like, I didn't have to pry for questions. Like of all the other places that I had called, I was like pulling teeth, just trying to get information about a place that I could go to. And I was already limited as to what I wanted to do at the time. And they were so helpful over the phone that I, all I had to do was give them my information. And I was out here the next day. It was, it was crazy coming from Oklahoma, looking for help, calling six different places to get one person on the phone that could really help me. And I didn't have to use all of my energy trying to get help. And so that's really what got me into Sovereign. For one, the lunch is amazing. I have to say, we have the best cooks. <laughs> and that's more than I can say for any other treatment center. But also, it, it, there's such a support group, like support everywhere. The staff is so supportive and the, the people in my house. I was never really friends with a lot of women and I finally learned how to be friends with women. So that was a huge thing for me. But. We have amazing staff and amazing lunch ladies and amazing nurses. Like I just can't complain about any of that. I, I love it all. We get to do outings and stuff and it's, it's a lot of fun. We even get paid outings and that's really nice. <laughs> My first impression was definitely how welcoming everyone was. Um, I was a little nervous on like how I would fit in, if I would get along with people, if they would get along with me, and I didn't even have to question that anymore. It's like I, I came in and I fit right in, and they made me feel very welcome. It was so warming, it really was. And I mean, even the driver picking me up was very friendly. Like I, I can't complain about that at all. My expectations were to definitely get some help, so I guess I came prepared for that. But also, you know, to be able to go to the gym, get myself in a healthy order, and I've definitely been able to do that. You know, to really help me with my triggers and to help me realize the mental health issues that I have been putting off. So, and I, all of the groups have have brought that out in me and at first I was a little unsure on what to like do and what to say but it just comes naturally after a while you just once you start getting comfortable and stuff it's very helpful. I would say you beyond exceeded my expectations like I had no idea that we would have as such great staff and you know employment here is just awesome as well as you know environment that we're in it's very safe and I'm I, thoroughly enjoy that because it's I've never really had a safe place that I can say it so honestly really sad to be leaving but I'm I'm glad I got as much as I did out of this program. Oh I love them <laughs> and the residents here are oh my gosh I had a fantastic group of women like so supportive, so loving, so caring and empathetic. It's, it's been such a blessing. It's sad when you have to go away and you have to marvel out and stuff because it's, it's heartbreaking. You know, you make these friends and you live with them and you get used to them and you're, you're like a family. You really are. And of course, everyone has their little tiffs and everything, but you work through it. You know, you don't stay obsessed over your problems. You get to move forward and move through that and I never really knew how to do that before so they have taught me a lot about myself and a lot about things that I didn't know that they had experience in and it's been awesome. I 
I'm the best therapist, if I do say so myself. <laughs> but and all of the therapists that lead the groups are so thoughtful. They they really take time to listen to you. You know, they don't force things out of your mouth. They, and if they hear it wrong, all you have to do is, you know, correct them. They're not judgmental. They don't jump to conclusions, which I felt like in the past therapists that I've had have occasionally done that, but I haven't felt any of that here. Like, it's been amazing in, in so many more ways. And, you know, at first, everyone has their issues that they have to work through, but the therapists really help you learn what those issues are and not how to, you know, get rid of them, but how to deal with them. And I didn't even know that I needed to do that, you know? So it was a huge thing, not only realizing you know, the pinpoint of what my issue was, but how to deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis. You have different therapy sessions, so we had like cognitive, but basically I didn't think that I could focus. I thought I had ADHD and I was gonna die with ADHD. And then I learned how to get rid of those urges and it was like, oh, the, you know, the therapist helped me work through that. And it was like, wow, I can deal with this. And it was kind of like an epiphany for me. I mean, we have so many great, great groups here that there's a you know different topic for each group and you don't get bored with all the same topics. And it teaches you that there are so many different levels of the brain and different things you have to work on. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of work, but it is easy to do with someone guiding you through it. Not easy, but it's doable with someone guiding you through it. Individual sessions. I, I love my therapist. And I definitely look forward to doing those, you know, and I can't say that I've done that before. We worked on my individual things that I needed to work on. That I, you know, might have shared a little bit in the group, but didn't dig down deep until I was with her. And you have a great time to get to know every therapist, even if, you know, you didn't necessarily feel 100% with yours, you had time to get to know all of the other therapists. And I really appreciated that. My favorite group was trauma. Honestly, because we really, I mean, we really got to be supportive together in that group and share those dirty things maybe that we didn't want to share or that we didn't feel comfortable with sharing. And to, to get rid of all of that weight was like, oh, like so much relief. It was so much relief. And that was probably the hardest group that I went to, but the group I appreciated the most and all of that. And my activity, I definitely loved the yoga. We got to do yoga and actually I do instruct yoga so through my depression and everything I had quit doing that as much and I, I got to bring that back and the instructor was fantabulous. <laughs> she was great and she walked us through everything. So even if you weren't like a yoga guru, you got to, to work on it, you know, and focus on the meditation of it and to be centered. We get up, we go to the gym, we work out, do our thing, go back to the house, take your shower, get ready for the day, and then you get in the van and jam out and have a fun time getting prepared for groups. And you get here and we go to group from 10 till 4.30. Yeah, and then we you know, get out of group and we go back home and at, speaking for the ladies, we get to have like, you know, dance parties <laughs> or, you know, we do our own yoga sessions even at the house. We cook dinner. We have an amazing dinner. Every night has been an awesome dinner. I cannot, like, I cannot express that as much because it was amazing. It's always home-cooked meals. Like, it's great. And even watch a movie we watched. And we take our time to meditate and relax. Like, I like to write in the evenings. And, you know, some of the ladies just, we like to chill, even have good good sunshine ceremonies every now and then and then you know take our evening meds and then we go to bed and hopefully have sweet dreams and then we wake up the next day and we do it again i love all of the staff for one which i'm gonna have to stress the lunch ladies like i already did because yeah i think that's been my favorite thing is the amazing food like 
I was so surprised when I came here like, whoa, everything's home cooked. Whoa, everything is home cooked. And every day it's like a different style. You don't get bored. It's not like you're getting turkey and cheese every day. Like not at all. It's like we're having lasagna and the lunch ladies are so sweet too. So I'm partial to the, the food because it's so great. And that I feel like that's a huge thing in recovery, you know, because trying to heal and that's what you do to heal is you eat and you fuel your body. So it was, that was definitely a stressor I was worrying about coming down here. But I mean, other than that, just like getting a routine has been, it's been amazing for me. And Sovereign was very good at helping me do that. I have learned so much. I have so many tools to take with me. It's, and the thing is, is that I get to use them and all the things that my Sovereign has helped me prepare for in everyday life that I didn't have before, even have a clue of. And I couldn't imagine what it would be like without that. My therapist has completely prepared me with a discharge plan and everything. So I, I feel confident about going back and you know being able to make those right choices. And that was a huge thing I was nervous about. I didn't want to make it, you know, like a waste of time. There's no point in that. But I don't I don't feel like I did. I feel like I got a lot from it from the groups and I feel like I'm leaving with friendship. You know, above all things, I have friends that I'm going to keep in contact with and I'm going to, you know, from different states and different cultures, it's like, ah, oh, it's amazing. You don't realize how important it is until, you know, people take it for granted and it's like, no, it's, it's vital, you know, it's so important. So the support I've got from here, I'll definitely be taking away with me and knowing that I'm worth it and I am enough. Others about the program, I would say it's got great food, <laughs> again, and uh, you know, just if you, if you put in effort, you will get the effort out of it and you will see a difference. But if, I mean, if you come here not willing, I mean, you know, that's on you, but I, if you come here ready to learn, you will learn. You will definitely get that out of it. And I would say, and just like, you know, put up those boundaries that it's okay to put up boundaries. I had a hard time with that and I've learned that. And that's like been the most, my most important lesson. I feel like my boundary bubble. 